Hey everybody, I'm going to do a video on my JVC JAS77 Stereo Integrated Amplifier. Um, so I have done a video of this unit and the other two before, but I'm just going to do a single video. Um, so here are the VU meters. Um, there's a bunch of switches and buttons and knobs. Um, first off, there's a power right there. Turn that on. Um, there are no lamps for the VU meters. Um, I actually kind of found out that the right VU meter is a little bit shorter than the left. Don't know why. Um, there's speakers off one, two, and one and two, all the channels. Um, front inputs and outputs, the balance mode, muting, cartridge load, dubbing tape, um, buttons for tones, subsonic filter loudness, here's your bass, treble, volume, source selector, aux tuner, one and two phono, and tape monitor, dubbing and tape, as tri DC, I'm not actually sure what that means, um, but let's see, according to vintage audio, um, it has an output power of 70 watts RMS per channel into 8 ohms. 90 watts RMS per channel into 4 ohms, 60 watts per channel minimum RMS for um, 8 ohms, 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Uh, yeah, that's just the uh, um, that's just the basics. Um, let me show you the rear. All right, so here's the rear. Um, you got your speaker outputs left and right. There's two channels or four channels total system one and system two um, AC outlets it switched from max 100 watts to max one to another 100 watts unswitch max 100, 100 watts um, down here JAS77 model um, stereo amplifier 120 watts 60 hertz through 305 watts no that doesn't seem right but yeah made in Japan uh, sound service center. I believe this was serviced before. Not but uh, not sure when though. Uh, let's see on the back. You got your subsonic DC let's switch right here. Not sure what that is either. And there's your inputs and outputs. They're a bit dirty. Needs needs to be clean. Um, I've done the best trying to clean it, but didn't do really good with it. Get your phono tuner, aux tape, pre out, main in. And I'm not sure what those are down there, GND. It all it's probably for the tuner or something for um radio, I'm not sure. But yeah, um that's mostly it. Um the problem I'm having with this unit is that sometimes the right channel would just go out completely. Uh my teacher who gave me this says that you, I need to clean the controls with deoxid. I haven't gotten it yet, so um, I need to do that and clean the controls and then find which one's causing the problem. You know, um, but yeah, as for now, this is pretty much it. All right, thanks for watching.